All right, I'm down I'm the first one to fish this spot. You can see some tracks here. The only thing is, I thought they kept going, but they only go right there to the edge of the pond, right here, and they quit. And they don't go down this way. They're kind of going behind me a little bit, I guess, and around over here and down along the shoreline. So whoever this was, they didn't really want to go very far. For me, I don't really care. And this water here has got a nice tint to it. I'll give this little lure I have a shot right now, see if it works. And if not, all else fails, I might have to switch out because I think the hook might be bad. But we'll test it out, see if I get one smaller one out of here or something. And maybe, there's maybe. I didn't think so. All right, let's get up here and see what we got ahead of us. There's no footprints, no footprints. They're all coming back towards me from here. There's another spot. They are going walking back this way from somewhere. There's no footprints going in. That's the problem. This is strange. They must have just hiked the park. But then again, maybe they went past the park. I don't really care. I'm still fishing it. I had to stop for a minute. I'm kind of looking here. There's some tracks here, like somebody had a dog. I think they were probably fishing too. I really don't care. I'm still going to try it out. But you can see that they're all in here this morning too. So I'm just going to keep hiking along. I got to where I want to be. Start fishing there. Down here to see what they did. Did it look like they got in? No. Looks like they walked on by it. And there's a animal tracks there. So there's not a footpath track anymore. All right, well, let's hope for the best. Who knows, I guess, huh? Uh. Had to try something different. What do we got going on down here? Is this another frog? Looks like it. Yeah. Looks like a frog that got uh, demolished by something. All right. So I switched out the ultralight minnow just to go up through here a little ways. See if anything will happen. Sometimes when the spinner won't do anything, the ultralight minnow has, will get reactions. So all we're gonna do is just try. Go a little farther. I can't just get it right here because you know who the heck knows who was here before me a few minutes ago or an hour ago or even yesterday. So we need to just kind of keep moving along, taking it easy, and just trying all through here and having some fun. We got plenty of time to go somewhere else. I just want to hike through this little section before I do. One minute, 37 seconds later. Fish on. I got a fish on, boys and girls. Fish on, check out the size of this brown trout. Woohoo! First fish of the day. Look at this dude. All right. Make sure you got that net ready to go. All right, come on, dude, get in the net. All right, first fish of the day, right there. Ultralight minnow, and I'm caught in a tree. Uh, Ultralight minnow pop free. We'll get him over here in 10 seconds. Get him on his way. See what we have happening. All right, there's that hook out of there. The hook out of there. Hold on one second here. Ultralight minnow's out doing his thing. There we go, we got six. We got eight. We got a 14 inch brown trout right there. All right. Hopefully my camera's turned on. This is the true test, I guess. It is. It's recording too. There she goes. I'll get her back in the water. 14 inch icy cold brown trout. I mean, it is cold. I'll get her back in. See you later, dude. Have a great day. Woohoo! That made me happy. All right, I'm gonna keep fishing. I thought I was gonna leave. It's not what's really happening. You just had to be patient. Switch out your baits, and there you go. Yep, let's go. That's the ticket there. We're done for a moment here, but there's plenty of stream ahead of me. Just gotta take it easy, chill, not go too fast, work your little ways through here. Oh no, did I get caught in a tree? Might have. Oh, I gotta go up here. Let's go free the winnow. See what else is in this tree here at the same time. All right, we got ourselves a jig. I don't know, maybe I'll put it in my pocket. Maybe I'll just hook it in my hat for now. There we go, I'll just hook it in my 
In my hat, I need to take off my backpack. All right, let's get moving. Let's see what we have here. There's one, two, three, four. Now you're gone and out the door. All right, let's try it up there. That looks like it has some potential. Five minutes later. Not feeling the spinner pole right now. I'm feeling the ultralight minnow pole today. Some bit it. No sense of switching. Oop, got fish on again, boys and girls. Check out this brown trout. Woohoo! All right, stay on there, dude. Ah, oh, don't charge. Just stay on there. Ah, I won't go in the net. Woohoo! There we go. Second brown trout of the day, right there. We gotta hurry up, get this guy unhooked. He's got a kind of caught in the net all the ways. It's not a good thing. There we go. It's out. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm hooked up in a way I can't get anything free until I get done here. All right, there we go. Another one. Check that out. This guy here is 10 on one side. Hold still, dude. We got nine on one side and we got seven on the other side. So we got a nice 16 inch brown trout here. Check out this guy. He is long and he is skinny. Hey, hey, nice fish. There he goes, back into the creek where he came from. All right, so far it's turned out to be a pretty good day. Ultralight minnow for the win. Yes. Many, many minutes later. Oh, what a pain. The last battery I had is dead, so we can't use it. Totally died. And now we can't even use this ultralight minnow anymore today, which is too bad. I don't know if that's going to mess it up for me or what, but this guy here, the lip is missing. I tossed it over here. I was pulling it back and then I was coming back kind of weirdly sideways. And I thought, what the heck's the deal about that? And if you get a closer look up here on this dude, the, uh, the lip on the, you know, the little lip on there is totally gone. And now we have a broken hook and we have a lip missing. And I'm not going to use this guy anymore. It's really sad because I wanted to keep using him, but... At this point in time, I just don't see an option. All right, man, there's like a big beaver dam right there and a whole bunch of stuff set up for like a trap. Like somebody's trapping. And then you get up here, and there's some sticks right there. I don't see any cables hooked to this stuff right here, but it definitely looks like somebody's trapping right here, which is good too. We need to get these beavers out of these streams. But yeah, there's the feed pile for this thing. I have to walk up and around quite a bit just to get past it. And I don't even know if it's gonna be really super deep right there now or what's going on. So what I'm talking about is that area right there. So I'm gonna walk up here, try to get around this stuff, see if we can keep fishing. I don't know. That's like the third beaver dam I've seen so far. So who's to know how many more are even up ahead? This spot is pretty well beat the heck with all those that feed pile in there all right here we go let's see what's going on here I actually catch a fish here and again who knows? Uh, let's get down here we're not gonna, gonna get down there otherwise too hard of an angle and I don't know what this looks like here it looks steep I don't know, am I at a tree? <sighs> what did I tell you? <sighs> so, the original plan was just to like get done fishing and then head over to like Cabela's or go to like Fleet Farm or something to look for another one of those little gold ultralight minnows because the other one, like I said, the lip broke off of it and the hook broke on the back so it was just like you know the funny thing about it was is that i didn't notice it at first but after remembering about it later is that tip that little lip on there was broken already it was broken from the last time i used it and that hook was broken from the last time i used it and i still managed to catch two big fish go figure that one out i don't know what it was i don't understand how that worked or how it worked out the way it did go figure it out it originally had a broken hook and I still caught a fish on it. And it didn't have that lip on there. That lip wasn't on there the whole time. I was wondering why it was swimming so weird when I kept pulling it back at myself. But I don't know. It just 
it worked and I caught fish. So what more can you say about that? Anyways, there's going to be a head over here. There's going to be a playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of places I fish in the driftless places I go, things that I do like today. Just, you know, I went out for a quick trip. I still not feeling the greatest in the world. And, you know, I, I just, but I needed to get out of the house. So I did, and I caught fish, and I had a good time. Anyways, head playlist. Talk to you on next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Uh -huh.